Hi, this is Crystal from Crystallized Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these pom-poms that are great for adding character and decoration to crochet projects or any craft projects in general um, if you do not have a pom-pom maker. I love my pom-pom makers, so if you find yourself wanting to make pom-pom makers a lot, I highly recommend suggest um, adding these to your tool bag. And they do have, like this one's a heart pom-pom maker. Um, they're really some neat tools and they make this process a whole lot easier. But if you do not have pom-pom makers, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy template to make them in the sizes you want to make them in. I have a compass. If you don't have a compass, you're going to need some sort of circular object that is around your house. You want to find something that is larger than the pom-pom that you want to make. I can use the bottom of the salt shaker, I could use this can, I could use my camera cover, I could use this basket. This would be a pretty big pom-pom if I were to use this basket bucket. I could flip it upside down and kind of trace the outside. Um, I could use the circular part of the tape measure, measuring tape. Um, anything that is circular that is larger than your pom-pom that you want it to be. I'm going to use the compass and the pencil and I'm going to show you how to create very precise pom-poms using this tool. And if you don't have one of these, maybe raid um, your husband's, your boyfriend's, your father's tool stash. I know my husband has one and this one is rather old so it doesn't like to stay. Um, I hope when I draw my circles that it stays where I want it to. So I could always go steal his too and hopefully remember to return it. So if you don't have one of those, find out if someone does. Otherwise a can or something circular would work. You also need a sharp pair of scissors. I have two here. I like to use my household scissors for cutting cardboard and then I have my yarn scissors that I normally use. You need cardboard or cardstock. I have two different thicknesses here. We're going to work with the thinner ones. The thinner the cardstock or cardboard, the more often you're going to have to replace them. Um, I just find them easier to cut and with having pom-pom makers, I really don't make these templates very much. Um, you may need a uh, uh, measuring tape if you want to figure out precise measurements on what you want your pom-pom size to be. So let's get started. With the compass, um, on mine it has inches and it has centimeters. I'm going to work on the inches sides, side. So if I want to make a one inch pom-pom, or a two inch pom-pom, I'm going to set my compass to one inch. Now I'm going to be drawing two circles on here, so we need to take in count the empty space in the middle, and you'll understand what I mean by that when we get this put together. I'm going to make a half inch small circle and a two inch big circle. So for the half inch small circle, I'm going to set my compass to a quarter inch. And I'm just going to draw and hope and pray that my compass does not wiggle on me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down on the point part, not the pencil part, in the center. And a little tip for this is you want to spin your cardboard, not, not, obviously I can't draw a circle and talk at the same time. You want to spin your cardboard, I'm hoping my compass doesn't move okay and it did but you kind of see the outline of this circle right here so that is a half an inch now I might just try and recircular this here so it's easier to see okay all right so that is my half inch I set it to a quarter of an inch so now if I want a pom-pom that's two inches I'm going to set my compass to one inch plus a quarter because that is going to take in consideration this empty space in here. So I'm going to stick my compass in the center again and with it set to one and a quarter, I'm going to draw my circle, hopefully without it moving. And I'm spinning the paper or the cardstock. And if my 
thing did not move. It did move a little. But okay, so I have two circles there. We're going to get rid of my old compass. I'm going to go steal my husband's after this video tutorial's done. I really hope you can see the two circles. So what I'm going to do with my household scissors is I'm going to cut out the larger circle. And this does not have to be completely perfect. You can make it all nice after you've gotten rid of that. I'm going to cut a straight line into the smaller circle and I'm going to cut to the edge of the smaller circle. You don't have to cut to the edge. And then I'm going to cut out the center circle. So now I have a circle that is two and a half inches in diameter. I didn't cut very straight either. Two and a half inches in diameter within half an inch in the center. So that is the start of my template. I'm going to want to space this out just a little bit. I'm going to basically make a C. So when I make my pom-pom, it's not going to be the two and a half inches. It's going to be two inches because I'm taking in account to this extra space in the middle. Now I'm going to need to make a second one. So instead of using my, my um, compass that doesn't stay put, I'm just going to trace this. Whoops. Trace this shape and I'm going to cut out this shape. So now I have two circles, two C's, that should be almost exactly the same. Trim that. I'm going to trim my middle circle like so. get rid of my scraps here. So now I have two C's that are nearly identical. I'm going to overlap them. They're not completely identical. And that is my pom-pom template. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my household scissors. I'm going to get rid of my pencil. And I'm just going to loosely wrap this around. Now the start of it is the hardest part because you want to catch your tail and secure your tail while keeping the templates together. So I like to pick a spot and again you don't want to do this too tight because then it's going to be harder to cut. And if this is a decent circle it should be easy to move around. Okay so now that I've captured my tail I'm just going to wrap it around. I'm not going to pull it really really tight I'm just going to keep wrapping until I feel it's full enough. The less yarn you use, the mm, sad, the more sad of a pom-pom you're going to have. The more yarn you use, the more full it's going to look. I'm going to switch my sides here. Now with this being cardboard, I'm going to put it right there, it's going to be easier. With this being cardboard, I can definitely bend this. My yarn is being not happy that it is being made into a pom-pom apparently. Alright, so I'm just going to go around and I'm going to finish wrapping this and again I can bend these at any angle to get them wrapped. As long as they're full, I'm not pulling too tight. And again, this is a tutorial on how to create a pom-pom if you do not have a pom-pom maker. And wrapping. You want to wrap it near the edges 
but you don't want it to fall off. And my yarn fell on the floor and now it's sticking. So this um, might be a little bit tight because I'm pulling tighter. Okay, I'm going to bend it that way. You will most likely have to trim, even with my pom-pom makers, I do tend to trim my pom-poms. Not sure if everybody else does, but that's what I like to do. All right, so this feels pretty good. Again, the more yarn you add, the more full it's going to be. You can also use ribbon or streamers or anything you really want. All right. I hope that is full enough. Feels thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my yarn. And then I'm going to cut another piece that I'm going to tie it with. But before I tie it, what I'm going to do is this is why I created two circles. And this is why you don't want to wrap it too tight. Because I'm going to stick my scissors in between the two cardboard pieces. And I'm going to trim all the way around, taking care not to really lose any strands. Almost there. Oops. And there we go. So now I'm taking care not to lose my strands. This might be a little bit too full. I like full pom poms though. So then I'm going to take my string, my extra yarn, and I'm going to loop it between the cardboard pieces and I'm going to secure it. Now, I like to secure once on one side, and you want to pull too tight, but you don't want to snap that yarn. And then I like going on the opposite side and securing with two more knots. That's just how I secure my pom-poms, both with this technique and with, um, oops, I got some strands in there, both with this technique as well as my pom-pom makers. All right, so now I have three knots to secure this, and I'm just going to pull this off. And I have a very neat pom-pom. Different yarns will give you different um, textures than that. A thicker, bulkier yarn will give you um, thicker um, pom-poms, but this is how you make it and then you can go ahead and trim as needed and as you can see I had a strand that did not catch when I tied it. You may have that as well, but that is how you make a pom-pom with this kind of a template, a C template. Two pieces and if I were to measure this, that would be roughly two inches and that is off of a two and a half inch, whoop, I'm just over two and a half inch um, circle template. So that is how you make a pom pom. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to catch all tutorials or patterns make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified as soon as one is released. Thanks! Bye!